Hello digital photographers and digital artists. I'm going to show you a demo of how to create a mandala using a slightly different method than my other video. This one uses blending modes in Photoshop to combine two copies of an image together. So let me just open up a new document. I'm going to use a light painting. Once again, I'll use this one. It's got some good depth to it. Small, big, focused, unfocused. I'll use that one. Okay. Drag this to my Photoshop icon. Get that puppy open. Okay. So just to start off, I'm going to double click the word background here on my layer and hit OK to make it a normal layer. And then I'm going to duplicate that with Command J. And I will once again, use Edit Transform, and I'll do Flip Horizontal. Okay. Now, this one is opposite the other one. It's been flipped horizontally. Uh, but you can't see it because it's blocking the other one out. So what I'm going to do is use a blending mode to combine these two images so that you can see them. And blending modes are found here in the Layers palette where it says the word normal. Normal's normal. By default, it's normal. So if you move down, you'll see a preview of what it's going to make it look like. So they're going to be different. Some of them are going to be really cool, really interesting. Like this is pretty cool. It almost looks like a front view of a bird right here, sitting in like a little spaceship cart. I don't really know. What am I seeing? Oh, I don't know. But you'll notice um, slight differences depending on which one you choose. Some of them will be symmetrical like darken and multiply, color burn, not, linear burn is. So yeah, you go through and find one that appeals to you. Lighten looks pretty cool. Lighter color is going to be very similar, but maybe a little punchier in the colors, a little more saturated comparing them. Um, so yeah, you decide. Um, overlay. I'm going to go with lighter color on this one. Okay. Now I want to have some more space to work because I want to make copies of this. So I will go to my image menu and go to canvas size. And I'm going to make this a big square document. So I want to make it 3,500 pixels by 3,500 pixels. And let's see what that does. Yeah, okay. So I'll move these two, select both of them and move it up. Okay. I'm going to do Command J. And then I'm going to flip these two that are newly copied. They're still selected. So I'll go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Vertical. Okay, so you could play with um, how you put these together. So I could put this end together, or I could try, whoops. Now, it might be helpful, you just saw, uh, to group these. So I can take these two, press Command G, take these two, press Command G. And also, when you're on your Move tool, Auto Select can be set to Layer or to Group. So in this case, I might just switch it to Group so that I can quickly grab these and try, try them out that way. Yeah, so once again, I could group these two groups and then duplicate it and then rotate that group. So I'm gonna do Command T and rotate it 90 degrees. And um, what I would probably do with this group, though, is play with the blending mode. When you group something, the default is going to be what's called pass-through. It's not a blending mode. It's not normal. Uh, but you could see how using a blending mode is going to make it... Oh, there we go. There's the money shot. Lighter color. Digging it. Yeah, once again, I'm going to group it. Group those two, duplicate it, 
Command T. I'm going to rotate this one 45. And my computer is slowly slowing down. And I'll do, let's see what that same lighter color. Things got pretty complex pretty quickly. Okay. So if you zoom in, you'll see there's quite a bit of detail in here. Okay. So once again, yeah, you know, I did lighter color. I could also go darker color and see how that works. Linear burn. Certain ones are going to show you the edges more clearly, which you might like. I don't know. They're all kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Play with it. Make something cool. Thanks for watching. Who's he at?